What's up guys? Uh, I actually just wanted to quickly go over uh, a few things that we have in store for uh, Third Strike Fight Club 3. Uh, first of which is actually the uh, the super gun setup that we're going to be using. Uh, I happened to recently order some uh, uh, a couple of parts for it. So the two default setups that we have will will have uh, completely new parts for you guys to use. As well as having also ordered two converters so that you'll be able to connect your USB sticks for those of you who want to bring your own PS3 stick or Xbox stick, whatever. So, um, And I'm going to plan on going over that right now. So, yeah. So right here we have... I explained it before, but I'll say it again uh, for the purpose of this video that uh, I I recently ordered a, a Super BIOS cart from, uh, from Mitsurugi W. So for those of you who don't know, he actually uh, he actually modifies the the cards uh, for CPS3, and he allows it so that you will be able to play uh, all the CPS3 games on one card. And he also he also gives you a a CD so you can load all the data onto the onto the card as well. So uh, I'll probably just go over that really quick. So right now I have. I have a third strike on this on this on this cart, obviously. Um, now the good thing about this is that once you write the game, uh, you'll be able to pick whichever whichever uh, whichever region you want to. So you know you could pick Japan, USA, uh, Brazil, Asia, Euro, Hispanic, and Oceania, and whichever one will work. So so if we'll go to USA. So it loads up Third Strike nice and clean, and for starters, I mean you'll probably have to go to the config and configuration and just you know change things. But I already have it all set up, so we don't gotta worry about that. Now let me just change. Actually, let me just not. And you can see that you know everything works perfectly. I mean, with the stick that we have, it's it's a connection for a DB15 port. So with these two default sticks, we have uh, HRAP sticks that were for the PS3. They have two connections for a PS3 and a DB15. And let me show it to you really quick. Everything modified. They come with. I ordered it with a Samitsu stick and Samwa buttons and everything works perfectly and everything's fine for it so and this is the super gun and I'm gonna show you how to connect the a USB stick to to the converter but for now I'm using the first player side which is this one and here is the entire super gun itself which is the JAMA harness and then the CPS3 with the cart and then there is the the, the CD player to play the CDs so now, let's see. Now let's just restart. Now, before everything, I actually just wanted to show you how the how the super gun itself works in terms of the the car and writing the game. So the game will start up like this, and you push one P to to get to load up the uh, the dark soft menu. And I didn't get it right, but I'm supposed to hold start. Sorry. So you hold start and then it loads up this menu, which is for the uh, security cartridge, and you have uh, different, you know, different menus to do. Now, if you wanted to uh, load up, let's say, uh, Second Impact or New Generation, you just click on this and you have all six games here. Now it comes with New Generation, Warzord, uh, JoJo's, Second Impact, and Third Strike A and B. I'm assuming this is for both versions. Uh, a is probably the old type, and B is probably the new type. So when you write the game on this card, you would want to use uh, A for the new type. I mean for the old type, sorry. Now the CPS3 also comes with uh, with six SIM cards, SIM SIM memory cards. 
uh, for if you have a CPS3 that contains all six uh, SIM cards, all perfectly intact with 128 memory, uh, well, the first two are going to be 64 memory, and the other four are going to be 128. If you have a CPS3 that has that type of setting, you'll be able to play each and every one of these games because Dead Strike actually contains the most. Now, if you would want to play that type of uh, in in that one of these type of games, you would have to take out just one memory stick and then just rewrite the game, and it should work uh, perfectly, as far as I know. But anyway, so that's just to rewrite the game, and most rewrites take at least 50 minutes. I mean, for Third Strike, it took like like 45, 50 minutes. So you know, it loaded up perfectly, and now every time it loads up, when you write the game, it just loads up the region select and and yeah, you get to play a third strike. So, so that's the that's the whole overview for the dark soft cart. Now, in terms of just uh, playing on the super gun, uh, as I said, these hardy arcade sticks they they have a uh, they have a Samwa buttons and a Semetsu stick with a square gate, by the way. Now, let's say if you guys wanted to play, well, we'll put it on Japanese version. Why not? Let's say if you guys wanted to use like a PS3 stick, or which, or an Xbox stick, whichever one, or maybe even a pad too. But I prefer that everyone brings an arcade stick, so that way, so that way, when uh, it won't feel weird when you play on the on the cabinet, because the majority of the tournament will be played on the cabinet. So, just a heads up for everybody. And I'm just doing a little craziness. For no reason. Oops. So this is the dip split menu. And now let's say if I wanted to wanted to use the converter to connect the PS3 stick, I would first the basic idea is that you have to hold well first you have to map your buttons and in order to do that you have to make sure that you hold on to I'm sorry. You have to make sure that you hold on to three buttons. Uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't have to be a specific order. It could be three punches or three kicks. So as you connect the arcade stick, you have to hold on to three buttons. Or, or for this, for the purpose of this, I'll just hold three punches. And you connect, you plug in the the, the USB, and the adapter will light up with a green with a green light. Now you'll know when you'll know you'll be able to map your buttons when the green light starts blinking. When the green light blinks, you map your buttons as as you would do in in OE or on console or something. So light punch, strong, fierce, uh, short. Now in in certain scenarios, he hasn't he hasn't really uh, updated um, the firmware. The person I'm talking about is uh, Undamned. He's actually the one who created the the converter. Uh, for some reason, you have you would have to map it as short, then roundhouse. And then forward. Uh, don't ask me why, but that's just the way it has to be configured in order to be properly, uh, you know, jab short, jab strong, fierce, uh, short, forward, roundhouse, in order to be mapped that way. So we're gonna do this right here, and let's see if I can get this. So I'll leave it right here. So, three punches, and we'll see how it lights up. And now it's blinking, so I can map my buttons. So remember, jab, strong, fierce, short, roundhouse, forward. And the blinking stopped, so that means you map your buttons. And now we're going to see how it looks, how, how everything turns out with the... Uh, with the mapping button, so let's see how this works. So I'm gonna push first player, now second player. And this is the second player stick, so, and that's the right color. So we have jab, strong, fierce, short, forward, roundhouse, and everything everything works perfectly in terms of delay
there is actually no delay for this adapter so if you if you're worried about using your arcade stick and worrying about any type of delay on it there actually isn't any one two three one two three and there's absolutely no delay on it so and the sticks seem perfectly fine <clears throat> for me so I'm sure many of you will like it as well so I have two converters for those of you who wanna you know if you happen to stick around after the event and want to play casuals on the on the super gun you'll be able to do that so that's just an overview of what's gonna be happening at Fight Club 3 and you know as you can see everything's working perfectly so now all we need is just for you guys to come out and support us on May 29th and 30th. Uh, May 29th we are going to be having a high roller tournament uh, including the Japanese players RKF and Vanal and as well as 5 star who's also confirmed from the west coast. Uh, it's $50 entry so I mean it's 16 player capped so we'll be streaming it and we already have 8 players confirmed so if you feel if you're feeling any type of ambitious you'll be able to uh, you'll be able to enter if you wish but it's $50 entry and after the after the high roller tournament we'll be having uh, a kumite with the uh, RKF and Vanau so for those of you who wish to play them you'll be able to do it then and then on the 30th which is a Saturday we'll be starting early with the with the 3 on 3 team tournament and then afterwards we'll be taking a quick break for intermission and for signups uh, we'll be doing signups for another New Blood tournament. So for those of you who uh, didn't have a chance to join the New Blood tournament last time, you'll be able to do it this time uh, if you show up, of course. And everything will be on arcade and the super gun, so you know you won't have to worry about it being on console. Uh, after the New Blood tournament, we will be having the fight card matches. Uh, majority of them have been have been decided on, but we haven't really officially announced them yet. But we'll be getting around to that sometime this week maybe this weekend or so so that's just something to look out for for you guys and also don't forget to check out the trailer on my youtube channel which is at uh, sf3lp and for now i just hope you guys enjoyed uh enjoyed this little overview of of the super gun that we will be having at fight club 3 so aside from that be sure to check out our teespring store where we'll be selling plenty of shirts uh, and also be on the lookout for a stream either this weekend or sooner or later for more promotion and more information on Fight Club 3. So hope to catch you guys on my next stream and I will see you guys next time.